So we all get the point, we're icing it down. You know, if you catch a good fish, you're gonna eat it. You need to take care of it, you know? And that's what we're doing, we're icing them down. Bean's getting that tank up. We're gonna try to catch a couple bottom fish. Good job, Jocelyn. Thank you. All right, here we go. We're going out deep. All ready? Yeah. We're doing some deep dropping now, guys. Look at the size of that sinker. We got some hooks on there. Catch whatever bites them. And it's really deep out here. That's why we use the electrics. The eight pound piece of rebar. And, you know, we don't want to, no one wants to crank it up. You can if you want, but most people don't want to. I don't want to either. All right, go ahead and turn it on. Let's see what we got, okay? Just like that. All right, we're coming up. We're coming up back here. I think they're rosies. We'll see, we're hoping for something bigger, but we'll take rosies too. <laughs> they robbed our baits back here. One rosy and all our baits are gone. They cleaned their clocks, we got one rosy. I thought you were gonna have five or six on there, I was hoping. It's gonna get empty handed. At least we got one. Look at all those hooks. Unbelievable. Here we go, we're going back down. All right, let's go ahead and bring yours on up and check them, because you got a couple on there, so. All the way? Yep, all the way up. Perfect, that's good, yep. We'll see what we got. If it's roses, at least gotta be a couple of them. <laughs> Come up all the way. You lost your, uh, yep, you lost your lead. Slow, 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 slow. Oh, wow. Ah, the rosy. Oh, Rosebud. There he is. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't lose him. Don't lose him. Another rosy. Oh, look at that thing. Man, look at that thing's mouth. Look at, look at his legs, little, look at that. little feet. He, he don't like it. On the bottom of that. He don't like it when I, he don't like it when I touch it. He just tucked him in. Yeah. I wouldn't like it if you were touching me either. No. I came up in that dark water. No, no one likes you. There you go. Look at that. Oh, my God. What do we got? We got rosies? Oh yeah, yeah. Crank a couple more times. Oh, oh, oh rosy stringers. There moose. you go. Four of them, huh? Jesus. Good, good. good googly moogly. Look at that moose. We got four rosies right here. Now we're talking. There's some rosies. Look at that one. That's a real one. You gotta get a picture of these things. Hold them all up there. Oh my god. Ooh. That middle one. That's got my name written all over. That's a nice one. There, he will eat good. They were not going to be too big. Right there. Okay, grab that thing, get him in the boat so don't fall off. That's a huge one, dude. That's the biggest rosy I've ever seen in my life. That is the biggest rosy I've ever seen. Woo! How much do they have rosy weight? That's the biggest black belly rosy I've ever seen right there, you guys. Look at the size of that one. Let's put him on a boga grip. Holy moly. Yeah, I'll get a picture. Hold them things sideways there. So that is the biggest rosy I've ever seen. A black belly rosy, call them rosies. We're going to unhook him. We're going to weigh this guy up here and see what he weighs. I mean, gotta be over he might be four pounds at least three three and a half it's a certified boga grip scale certified by the igfa caught all electric so it won't count for a record but oh wow four pounder look at that right four there pound rosy. four pound yeah. rosy look at his little finger holy moly yeah. it's over four pounds four and a four and a touch just over four there so it might be a four and a quarter record size rosy right there i mean who would have thought is that a record size rosy? Dude, that's a record size rosy. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> Woo! There you go. Now we're gonna eat this bad boy too. We're gonna ice him down. <laughs> Is that you, Beef? That would be Beef. Uh, Brandon Storm. We're on 175. We lost ours. The outer foul look. That's all I ever hear from you. I lost a sword. I lost a sword. I had a big one. It's a 600 pounder. Lost it by the boat. I want to see you catch one without Nick. I doubt it will happen. Uh, <laughs> I doubt I'll ever try. I'd rather go backcountry and sight cast triple tails. All right, let's go fishing. Another <laughs> Scott. Yes. Uh, We're here on the Brawl Minded. I think we got a barrel, maybe a wreck fish. I'll show you how it's done. He's angry. Oh, it's definitely not a wreck fish, but it might be a barrel fish. I heard beef in the Oh, look at that. All right, nice barrel fish right there. That thing's swimming on the other line. We just cut hers off, but we got one on the least. All right, there you go, in the box. Double header, Rosie. There you go. There you go. Nice ones. Nice Rosies. They'll eat good. Oh, yeah, I've never seen a Rosie. Big one. That's a good one. Three pounder there. We're getting some mooses today. Big Rosies. 
There he is, Jeffrey. The biggest rose I've ever seen caught. So you guys, that is a record size rose. He's over four pounds. You saw him on bug grip. That's a normal size rose. You can see the difference. I'm gonna take this one home and cook him whole. We're gonna clean him up for all these guys. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do this first with him. We're gonna gut him and we're gonna scale him. I've never done a whole rosy, so this is new for me. All right, good luck. Nice. Is it? Yeah. I thought it was today. Oh, is it? Yeah. I didn't know that. I thought today was. There you go. That's why I call these things black belly rose fish. You can see his stomach there is a black belly, so that is the black belly rose fish and his mouth is black too. Let's try to knock some of these scales off as well. Look at that, see the scales coming off? They're coming off pretty easy. And I'm thinking we're gonna go throw him home in the pan and saw him in the pan up and it should be good. I mean, it can't be bad, they're delicious eating, so. Look at all those scales there, holy moly. That's the scales that came off of them. Just use the back of the knife. We're gonna spray those all up. We're gonna spray him out. Clean them on up. He's good to go. Now, I, honestly, I don't know what Sadie and Sarah are gonna say when I go home with that. But <laughs> we're gonna find out tonight for dinner. So we'll see you back in the kitchen. You're gonna eat it. I'm not eating it. All right, Sarah's gonna eat this piece of triple tail that Bean gave her. He caught it the other day. I'm eating black belly rose fish. Here we go. Look at this bad boy. Are you gonna eat the black belly rose fish? Sadie, do you see your dinner? Are you excited? Aw, oh, she touched him. Wipe it on mama. Uh-uh. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna score this fish, and I'm just really getting into doing whole fish. I haven't done very many of them, so. We are gonna put a few slices in them. Are you supposed to take his scales off first? I scaled them already. Oh, okay. Scaled them at the dock. So, at the dock. Look how white that meat is. That's white pretty. meat. Very, very white meat on rosies. White meat and rosies. <laughs> white meat on rosies. Meat We're gonna do a little crisscross pattern here, just so we can really get that seasoning and all that olive oil up inside there. Just like that. And we'll do this side next. You'll see it in a second, Sadie. Mama, I want to eat a banana, Mama. You want to eat a banana? Yeah. Dada eats a banana every day on the boat. I want every day. Okay, yeah. there we go. Fresh bushel, bushel getting ripe. Mama, so we got this rosy now. Mama, We're going with Persian lime olive oil. You know, from Al Murata. I'll put the link in the description below. Get what we use here. I'm not even a good cook, and this tastes really good on fish, so. He's got everything. So we're gonna load him down with this and rub him with it really good. And we're also gonna try some coconut vinegar. A little bit of that in there. And then just a little bit of salt and pepper, you know, a little cracked sea salt. A little bit of pepper. We're gonna flip him over and do the same thing to the other side. And he's going to the bacon dish we're gonna put them in the oven at 400 and see how he turns out. Here we go, fish going in the oven. You excited, Sadie? Hey, you're gonna ruin your dinner feet, that. I think he's done, guys. We poked him with a fork. The meat's starting to flake. Brown and crispy on the edge. The moment of truth, will it be edible? It does, oh, it smells delicious. Look at that, I mean, that looks gorgeous. Black belly rose fish. Sadie's gonna eat a banana. Do you want some of this rose fish, Sadie? No, I ain't. You don't want to try a bite of the rose fish? Nah. One bite? Mm. You want that banana, huh? Okay. Are you gonna try a bite? I have triple tail. <laughs> she has triple tail that the bean caught the other day. We're eating this rosy. I mean, look I at this like thing. I do like rose fish though, actually. Like, they're very good. They're really good. White flaky. So I thought that when we caught, you know, it might be record size. 
I never caught one over four pounds before, and it was like four and a quarter. But we did a little research, and apparently there was a five pounder caught, I think in Virginia, years back. So they do get over five pounds. Although we had our personal best, we were still happy with them. It could be equivalent to a state record in Florida. Who knows? It's hard to find the state records. Anyhow, this is one of the medium sized ones. I'm about to take a bite. Look at this. Flakes apart. That is black belly rose fish. The skin's still on there. Got nice and crispy. Rosie going down. With coconut on it? Delicious. We put the lime olive oil and then that coconut uh, vinegar. You can really taste it. Sarah's coming over to give it a bite. Now you do have to be careful because there's bones in it. Is that a bone there? Yes. Oh look, Sarah almost <laughs> just got a bone. Sarah almost got a bone. He's trying to choke me. <laughs> Tell us what you think. Yeah, of course we eat it, Sadie. Mm. Sadie. It's rosefish. What do you think, good? Yeah. Rosefish is really white and flaky and like mild. It's like triple tail of the deep. All right, here you go. Let's get another bite here. You can see the meat, you know, just comes right off the bones there. But you do have to be careful because there's bones in the fish in the center. Here's more going down. It is really good, really delicious. And you get to utilize more of the fish that way, so. I probably didn't need to put that much pepper on there though, because it just got some kick. Yeah, I picked around pepper. Did you? Sarah doesn't like pepper, she picked around it, so. My triple tail. All right, let's try Sarah's triple tail. With no bones. No bones. <laughs> Pan fried triple tail, courtesy of the bean. Probably caught a fish without me, I didn't think he could, but he did. Wait, this came from bean? Yep. I thought you caught it. No, he caught it the other day. Ew. <laughs> no, okay, it is really good too, the triple tail. We gotta give Sadie one bite though. Sadie needs a bite of rose fish. So let's get this nice little morsel right here. Sadie, you ready for a bite? Say, ah. Uh... Do you like it? You want more? She wants more. She said, wow, that means yes. The dish is a hit. I'm getting back to eat dinner with the family, you guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. And uh, we got more videos coming your way. Say bye, Sadie. <laughs> oh boy. Eating banana and all. That's my breakfast. Hopefully, she doesn't eat them all tonight. So, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.